Hello everyone. Now I am going to tell you about a very important thing how to attempt NEET PG exam because right now we are having 3 4 days in our hand our mind should be well prepared for the thing that how we are going to attempt our NEET PG exam most effectively so that we can jump our rank or we can get a very good rank in exam right so here uh, preparation starts from the night before your exam so how you have to do remember you have to relax from now onwards you have to practice from now onwards to try to sleep by 11 or 12 o'clock right so it is ideal to sleep at the 11 pm and try to have a good night sleep of 6 to 7 hours because remember in those 2 hours your mind should be very active to read out the you know uh, language twist or all the options and to apply your knowledge and and to recall all those things and for that you require a very active brain and for that you require a very sound sleep so sleep by 11 o'clock and try to have a 6 to 7 hours of this sleep second thing what you have to amaze uh, uh, you know uh, pay attention during the morning time morning time please do not have a heavy breakfast so that you you should not be feeling sleepy during exam time right so have a lighter breakfast right no oily food no junk food all these things you should avoid try to have a juice before going to your exam like that you have to do right but please remember no oily food no heavy breakfast right and if you wish you can revise tiny notes otherwise i will not recommend that on the morning you should do anything but that day anxiety will be more so it, there is a one relaxation that you can revise your tiny notes right so just revise tiny notes and stop studying one hour before your exam that will be one very important thing so that you should you should get relaxation in your mind you should have a some you know uh, elasticity of the memory which will be you know good during the exam time otherwise what will happen your mind will be so exhausted during exam time if you are continuously studying and going to the exam so stop studying one hour before exam relax yourself see you can relax yourself by many methods by you know by remembering your god almighty or maybe uh, you know uh, uh, by doing the uh, deeper spiritual meditation or by deep breathing also so all these things you can do this why i am saying all these things because you should now uh, avoid any kind of distraction on that morning because it can be from any phone call from your friend from your even from the room partner also you can have a problem so please remember that day you have to relax yourself by anything either meditation or deep breathing or whatever whatever is convenient to you right no calls no gossip no conversation even conversation remember conversation is healthier one but that time you have to keep your mind cool and you have to avoid calls gossips and conversation because anything can affect that moment right and when you are going to the exam center this is also a very crucial time you have to go quietly do not chit chat with other people who are sitting around you or who are going along with you right maybe your junior maybe your senior maybe your colleague or maybe room partner so that can distract you or maybe maybe any of the you know talk can you know give you a down morality that i have not read this or what i will happen what will happen to me these people have revised so much so all these kind of feeling should not happen to your mind so please go quiet and keep on meditating yourself focus on the deep breathing that is why that is why i am saying you these are the very important thing crucial point which will be counting a lot during exam time and do not involve in any sort of discussion that's what i was telling you any sort of discussion no good no bad just keep yourself cool and think about your exam how you are going to perform in those 2 hours just just focus on that thing right what should be your plan right and feed your mind only positive thought please remember your thought process is going to decide so many thing so that time you do not have or do not allow any negativity to come in front of you in your mind right and during exam time that is very very important means those 2 hours you have to stay positive from the question number 1 to the question number 200 without losing hope enthusiasm and faith in your abilities that is the one very very important thing and prepare your mind remember prepare your mind for the next 2 hours when you are entering into the exam you should be very clear that i am i have read very well i am going to do very well so that time please do not try to think about your gt score i my gt score was not good so i am not going to perform good so all these kind of negativity should be avoided go with the positive mindset a stronger mindset even i am not good in the gts but today in these 2 hours i am going to give the best performance and nobody can excel in front of me this kind of you know high morale should be there during exam time you if you are losing your morality probably it will be not a good sign right so that is very very important and the most important thing 
during those two hours how you have to behave that is also very crucial because when you are going to enter into the exam remember first 20 minutes are just like a, a you know opening batsman who is going who is going to face the new ball and ball will be turning fast moving so that kind of that that is giving a stressful situation to us like a, that batsman so batsman will not hit the shot from the very beginning right so majority of the batsman right i'm talking about majority of the batsmen i'm not talking about virendra sawar right so first 20 minutes you try to attempt only those questions which you know completely. We are confident that this is the right answer, right? Program cell death is apoptosis only. There is only one option. So this kind of question you have to attempt initially, right? And if you are finding any question which is looking tough or you are having some doubt this option or that option, try to skip them, mark them to come back and uh, attempt them later. But do not waste your time on thinking. Immediately you have to find out skip away do not give any mind so first 20 minutes you have to train your brain from now onwards first 20 minutes i am going to attempt those questions which i know very completely if i have a even an iota of confusion i am not going to attempt that question in the first attempt i am going to attempt only this thing because this first 20 minutes is a cooling period of your mind where all stress will be slowly evaporating and now you will be coming into the terms of the exams and you will be feeling more free and your mind will be more receptive to the questions and their answers and you will be able to recall the questions right so whenever uh, sometime what happens you will be facing tough question and that will be back to back first question you don't know second question you don't know third question you don't know so if you if you are happening with this kind of scenario remember even though we are, when you are we are very well prepared sometime what happens in uh, our set of the questions all the four or five questions are coming straight forward which are very tough and we start feeling depressed oh my god and that is the point where you may lose your you know uh, temperament and you start committing mistakes so remember every question paper is having 15 to 20 percent of the question which will be very tough for all the student and sometime it comes in the earlier part of the question paper and that will spoil your mood and that may be a deterrent factor for you know in your exam to give a best performance of yourself so please remember if you are facing tough question back to back move on to the next question move on to the next question do not waste your time please do not get involved or stuck on onto that this is a very common problem which even i have faced in my life right when i feel a tough question has come i will be stuck up i would like to solve this question then i am going to move ahead please do not become rigid be flexible move on to the next question leave him right immediately without wasting any time and effort right and now uh, how many questions you should target i will discuss this in another video but one brief amount i will uh, account i will tell you that you should attempt maximum 195 plus minus 3 mcqs even if you are attempting 200 also it will be good because you are getting four plus mark and one minus mark if you are going to do any wrong thing right so please remember why i am saying 195 plus minus 3 because merit is going to be higher please remember my words merit is going to be higher what kind of question paper examiner is asking all the all the students they are going to attempt questions like this only right so try to understand try to give maximum questions right attempt maximum question because that will definitely improve your rank if you are well studied and i i know that majority of you have well studied so definitely your luck will favor even your guess will be coming up correct right so how you will be giving guess so try to remember this is one very simple technique which everybody follows right that whenever you are ruling out two options that question you must attempt because now chances of getting right answer for that question is 50 percent so please attempt that question if you are able to rule out two options please attempt those questions right so that is how you can improve your number of attempts so remember number of attempts should not be less than 195 plus minus 3 so minimum you can attempt 192 and maximum it can be 198 also or it can be up to 200 also right and if you have very well prepared for your exam and your exam was going very smoothly all questions you are you know attempting like a you, you will understand that i am going through very smoothly in this question paper and suppose you have reached 195 196 very easily right in the first course or second course itself so try to understand that time you can take a risk of one or two question 
those who are well studied for them i am telling you and when your paper is going in your favor that time you will realize when you are solving your question paper you will come to know that i am doing well so to improve your rank suppose you are coming within 100 or within top 1000 and you want within 500 or within 100 so you can take a risk for one or two selected question how you will take how you'll be taking risk if you are able to rule out one option remember try to attempt that question also because here chances of getting right answer is 33 percent that is how you should be clever in your exam so remember it is not for all the question only one or two question you can take. suppose you have attended 190 question 196 question and you wish to go for 198 or you have attended 198 and you wish to go for 200 so then you uh, choose these one or two questions if you are able to rule out one option please go for that definitely i'm telling you your your you know mind will be working on that and you will definitely get correct answer so this is how you have to go in your exam and in the end i would like to tell you best wishes please do not give up at any moment during exam time till the exam is over because sometime question paper may be tough so you might be thinking ki are it is very bad for me but remember it will be bad for all the students so that is why i want to say that do not give up during the question paper time attempt your question paper from 1 to 200 without giving up you will definitely get a good rank in your exam my best wishes to all of you bye bye